Today, I'm going to show you how to fix the top problems that I see with new grads when they're going into an interview. So I ran across some research recently that showed the top 10 problems that hiring managers identified in the people they interviewed. And among those top 10, two of them were one, that they didn't express enough warmth and kindness in their interview, and two, that they didn't express the proper amount of excitement for their new job title. So what both of these have in common is the voice. If you can properly express yourself through your voice, then you can properly express both warmth and excitement. Today, I want to teach you exactly how to fix that. When I'm working on this problem with my students, I see one of two major issues. The first one looks something like this. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I am really excited for this job. Uh, you have no idea how ecstatic I am. I can't wait to get started. What's wrong with that? Obviously, there's no excitement, there's no warmth, there's no anything. Now, the second problem is that people recognize that they don't have this warmth and excitement, so they go to the opposite extreme and they look like this. Hi, I am so excited for this opportunity. I feel, I, I just feel myself uh, exploding with excitement and joy. I know uh, you seem like a great person to work with. I am so excited to get started and uh, I just can't wait. Now there's warmth there, there's excitement. The problem is that there's no grounding and there's no confidence. And without that, instead of seeming excited about the job, you seem like you're simply trying to please the interviewer. So how do we fix this? What we're gonna do is a little role-playing exercise. First, I want you to imagine that you are a happy elf frolicking through your beautiful kingdom. You're coming into the job interview and you're skipping in and you're coming in like this. Hi, I'm Happy Elf, and I am so excited for this job. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity. Now, I just said that's not what you want to do, but I want you to practice it, even if it's a little weird, and I want you to keep that feeling and that tonality in your mind. Just, just kind of lock it in there and know how that feels and sounds. Next, imagine you're a drill sergeant. You just reprimanded your recruits for doing something wrong. You're coming in, you're angry, you're commanding, and you're coming in like this. Hello, ma'am. This is Drill Sergeant reporting for interview. I'm ready to take on this challenge. Yes, ma'am. Just like that. Again, not quite what you want, but hold that feeling in your mind. Hold how it feels, how it sounds in there. You have your happy elf, you have your Drill Sergeant, and what you're going to do this time is you're going to combine them into a single happy elf drill sergeant. And that's gonna sound something like this. Hey, Lisa, I'm Matt. Thank you so much for taking the time to interview me. Let's get started. Pretty good. That's exactly the type of tonality you want. You want that grounding, you want a little bit of commanding, but you also want that kindness and that warmth. Now, when I've done this with my students, they've gone from missing interview after interview, not getting that call back, to having three or four offers that they have to decide between. It's a really, really powerful technique. So if you enjoyed that, what I want you to do now is two things. First of all, I want you to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and comment that you liked it. And I'll post more quick tips like this that make a big difference. Secondly, if you're really interested in how to improve your interview, Go ahead, scroll down, and click on the link I have on the bottom. It's going to allow you to download a document one of my students brought into an interview that completely blew the interviewers away with their professionalism and level of preparedness and got them that second interview, or it was at least a big part of it. it the example is going to allow you to create your own document and do the exact same thing. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the flip side.